Hey folks, how you doing? Uh, got a little tutorial for you today. A couple days ago, a viewer contacted me if I if I sharpen knives, and I said no, I don't. But uh, actually, after he said which knife he would like to sharpen and reprofile, I said you know what, I'll do it for you because I want to check out that knife. And the knife in question was the Habilis uh, Pathfinder. I think they call it trade knife. This that uh, I think pretty new uh, Habilis knife. Uh, it's a hundred dollar knife. 1095 steel, gun blued, really cool G10 handle, like even on my uh, bush tool. I kind of like their knives. If it's worth the money, I don't know, you know what? It's not bad price for It's pretty much almost like a custom knife. So, not a bad price. The, I've noticed on this one and also on the new version of Habilis, they do need to do something with the profile because the edge, uh, the the grinding geometry, the edge geometry is really bad. They do that kind of pseudo scandy grind, and you can see, you know, this is not a thick knife; it's one eight inch thick. But you see that the the edge is so low that the hang angle of the edge is very very thick. It won't cut well, you know, if you're really actually trying to get into the material. So I'm gonna show you how I'll reprofile it and put the video together. All right, folks. So as you see, I have my belt here. And on my platen I have this kind of fleece or whatever it is called, you know, it's like a cotton wool backing. It it gives just like when we were doing the sharpening, just like the mouse pad I use or paper towel underneath the sandpaper, it's the same design, you know, same principle. It will give you the give instead of doing it on the slug because the slug is too, uh, gives too much. You want the, just a little bit of give to not to do steep angles on your convex. So that's a little trick. A lot of, lot of us amateur knife makers don't know about it at first, we do do mistakes with that uh, using just the slack. Uh, but once once you have somebody to show you, it's a nice little trick, easy and it works perfect. So I have 60 grit belt on it and I'll just get on with it. I'll go, I won't even stop the video, I'll go 60, I'm gonna change to 100, 120, 220 and I'll see from there. I'll just keep going so I don't have to take my mask off.
I'm gonna do eight hundred also. And I'll polish it just a tiny bit. The third belt. I'm gonna have to. F <laughs> Sorry for the mask. I'm gonna have to fix up the the gun blowing a little bit, but that's pretty decent decent uh, polish on it. So we're gonna go to the clean room and uh, sharpen it and get it fixed up. All right, folks. So here it is. I just sharpened it. Um, you can see my sharpening videos. How I finished the knives. Just hand finish, poly, uh, polish, it was polished, just the actual edge. I have to bring out like a kind of micro, uh, micro bevel, convex micro bevel, because the 1095 is not, uh, you know, not strong enough to support that, you know, sharp angle like that. So you have to do that the time, the very, very end of the, you know, cutting edge, you have to convex a little steeper. So it's strong enough because otherwise it would roll, it would be super sharp, but it would roll way too easy. So there you see it, nice and polished. I will try to probably put a little bit of gun blowing on this, see if I can touch it up. I actually like it, it looks like, you know, worn out. It's not that bad, it's not like it's scratch marks. Gun blow wears off very, very, very easy. You know, one pass through wood, buttoning and something and it will be the gun. Now you see, it is kind of sharp <laughs> it's kind of crazy sharp it is very sharp very very sharp so hope he will like it i'm pretty sure he will so let me know what you think guys hope you found it helpful you know like be careful with the power machines don't burn the edges cool it like you see me cool it every time every every pass or especially if you have a big one like i do you have to cool it down after pretty much every single pass unless you don't push too much but then it's gonna take forever so came out pretty sweet Got the decent grind, almost pretty much perfect on the both sides, like the height. Now it's a good working knife. <laughs> it's a pretty cool knife, not bad for 100 bucks. You know, like I, I don't know if I would buy it personally. I would probably add a couple more dollars. Not a couple more. I would probably buy that bush tool for uh, more, but you get better shit and uh, you know nicer knife. This is still a nice knife. They are still in the kind of similar team. You see that they still keep that substantial blade uh, to the to with the small handle, so they are very similar. But uh, like I said, hybrids should do something with their grinds because the grinds they do those are not working knives. As as much as I like their designs and everything, and prices and everything, those uh, those grinds they do you gotta do something with it, guys. If you're watching. Thank you for watching guys, take care, stay safe and remember, don't cut yourself.